Turun. Welcome and welcome back friends, today we have Sofern headlamp which was kindly sent me by Sofern. Here are all the specs of the headlight and some photos of it. I'll also add a link where you can buy it and a coupon code in the video description. So today we have headlamp from Sofern. It comes in carton box. Inside you have the flashlight, head mount, user manual. I'll show it later. USB-C charging cable, spare O-rings, and that's it. All you need to use the flashlight. Let's put this aside and let's start with the headband. Headband main part is made from rubber, quite thick. Flashlight is a bit hard to put in, but when you put in, it holds nicely in place. At the angle you need, so no problem at all. The only thing I would make the headband a bit bigger because this is how I use it. If someone has bigger head than mine, you will have problems. Okay, so the flashlight itself, from two sides, from one you have the battery, from other you have USB-C charging port. I'll show you how it looks. O-rings from both sides, threads are greased. Here you have the USB-C charging port, indication LED, when you charge it, it glows. All flashlight is made from metal, even the caps. And here you have the battery, it's marked here. And it's marked how to put the battery. It uses one eighteen six fifty battery and it works with both button tops and flat tops, but the flat tops are a bit too short and they rattle a bit inside. I guess it's a gold plated spring. Design is very nice. Battery does not shake. Flashlight quality looks very good. while being small. So it has two LEDs. One is for throw, XHP 50.2, and it's stronger. And the fluid light uses tear optics. It's Samsung High Cree LED. The XHP 50 has orange peel reflector. Two buttons on top. Cooling fins are not deep, but at least they are. So, it has echo mode, you have to hold the button from off. And it's not memorizable. 
other than that it has three modes low medium and high and double press for turbo if the flashlight is on while you turn on turbo if you press it again it will go to last mode and press it again to turn it off same goes for the other LED so simple UI flashlight is very powerful but also it gets hot very quickly but as for headlamp I think that's not a problem Now let's look at the manual and some words about it. Here you have the runtimes and also the measurements of throw, fluid. I checked the lumens measurements. All of them are almost the same as mine, but as I don't have professional gear to test lumens, I don't have integrating sphere. So I cannot measure lumens exactly how they are. So I'll just call later on those which are shown here or call the modes low, medium, high, turbo. The only thing uh, while I tested the runtimes, those runtimes shown here are not like they are in the real life. I contacted Sofran about it and they will redo the testing on the runtimes. Here you have the specifications, safety instructions and operation, how to use the flashlight so if you forget how to change mouse, how to access one or another thing, you can always look here. Manual is multi-language so I hope you'll find what you need here. So now let's take it outside and see how it does at night. Okay, so here we are in the darkness. First modes are not very visible, but they're visible to naked eye. So here we have medium. Those branches are about three meters away and those trees on the left are approximately four meters away and we have a high mode lights up approximately maybe 25 meters not very bright light but enough for walking and it's very wide beam you can see I'm holding the flashlight and I can see all the trees around I can see all surroundings and here is turbo very wide beam I think that's very good for this flashlight type okay so back to high mode and let's see how narrow beam looks like echo mode visible about three meters away low mode I can already see the trees about 20 meters away this is the XHP 50.2 emitter. We have medium and high. Very good beam, nice pill, but also quite far. I see the trees around maybe 30 40 meters away. And we have turbo, very bright light. 
no visible spot. Actually, it's visible, but not very bright. You can say that here's a spot. It's like scattered all around. Very good spill also. A bit narrower than the Samsung LED. And the light gets warm. Not hot, but warm. And here we have both beams on turbo. Not much of a difference. Here's only narrow beam on turbo. Very nice light. I like it. Yeah, now it's getting hot. And it will eventually step down. But I think if you use like low, medium, that's fully enough for walking in the forest or walking your dog, even too bright maybe. And here we have echo, low and medium on the wide beam. And this output is sustainable. The light does not step down, at least in normal conditions. Maybe in summer it will step down a bit. Very nice light. And turbo on wide beam. This is the high CRI emitter. 5k color temperature very nice beam so that's it let's move on okay this time flashlight on my head and we'll start with white beam echo mode low mode I can see the trees in the forest, maybe it's not visible on camera, but I can clearly see the trees about 10 meters, maybe 7 meters away. This is medium, very wide beam, and high. This is how the forest looks. I'm shooting with 24 millimeters lens. It's quite wide. And we have turbo. Next, let's see the narrow beam, the XHP 50.2. Echo mode, not visible, low mode. Here, yeah, now you can see. I wouldn't walk in the dark forest with this low light, but at least you can see where you're going. And this mode is sustainable. Next we have medium, also sustainable mode. And this is probably enough for walking around. Next we have high. This is very bright. Already bright. And turbo. And this is a bit too bright. At least that's how it looks on camera. For me, it's okay. Mm. 
Yeah, so and both turbo. Here we go. Very bright. You won't be able to use this longer than one to two minutes, but if you need to light up the area, it's okay. And here is the high mode of the narrow beam. Yeah, this is low, medium and high for wide beam, the Samsung LED. I hope you enjoyed those item shots. Here will be a lot of crafts for each LED and in the end for both of them. What can I say? That said that there is no stabilization and I'll also put those crafts in BLF form. So I'll put a link in video description where you can find them. So my final thoughts about the flashlight. I like the design, I like the look of it, the UI is simple, very nice headlamp, good quality, headband, I guess it's a good quality, I didn't test it for long, but I hope that those will hold. It does not feel cheap, and I think it's okay, and the flashlight is not so heavy, so... The headband should be okay for it. The only complaint I have for this flashlight from being perfect is the lack of stabilization. And as you previously saw from my videos, most of flashlights I get has stabilization. And why I don't like it? Because after the battery gets low, you do not have the same output. So if you are in medium mode, you have to go into high mode to get the same output. All in all, anything else I like it. It's good flashlight. The best thing I liked about it is the very wide beam. And I think this is a plus for the headlamp, as in most cases you'll need it to do something with your hands free. So the big fluid light is very nice for the headlamp, at least for me. Others may be with other opinions, but that's my opinion. So all in all, I think this flashlight is very nice. And I don't have anything bad to say about it. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my contact and see you later in the next review. So good luck, thanks for watching, bye.